artist relationship, a tremendous empathy for your fellow uh, citizens of this country. So they could, could be on certain issues having different opinions. But decorum of privacy, of intellectual freedom, that is the essence. Opinion and our opinion uh, uh, should be candid, but at the same time does not and should not uh, hurt the feelings, the faith and the opinions of other fellow beings because we, when we empathize, then we move in, uh, in a national unity towards a direction where the country and its parliament and its parliamentary democracy prospers and gives the fruits with regard to the aspirations of the people. Uh, secondly, we see uh, yesterday only, I was really hurt, uh, Honorable Speaker, and I would like to share with the member of the parliament while I was coming, I traveled from Rawalpindi to uh, Islamabad to my office daily. And as I sat in my class I, I, car and I received a fake news on, uh, about the death of so-called of somebody very uh, seasoned uh, Pakistan scientist, uh, you must have seen. And I was shocked. But being, being a researcher myself, I did not rely on that. And I just told my driver that I will check FM radio for 2-3 hours. The news is going on at 8 o'clock in Pakistan radio. There was no news in Pakistan radio. There was no news in Pakistan radio. There was no news in Pakistan radio. And I also checked on my cell that the news turned out to be fake. This happened to me just 24 hours ago as a matter of fact. Then I recall only 10 days ago, when it was small, and it was always going on with us. कि जब कोई छुट्टियों का एक ब्लॉक आता है हॉलीडेज का तो कोई कहीं से नोटिफिकेशन आ जाता है ये मैं इसलिए क्योंकि फेसबुक के दोस्त बैठे हुए हैं तो जस्ट केस स्टडीज टू केस स्टडीज दैट वी हैव बीन कंफ्रंटिंग कि जी छह छुट्टियां गवर्नमेंट ने कर दी हैं आशुरा के ऊपर फ्राइडे वीकेंड से पहले कभी मिला दिया तो ये भी एक व्हाट्सएप किसी ग्रुप में चला तो हमने खैर सो ऑलवेज दिस इज रीएम्फसाइजिंग द नीड दैट यू एक्ट लाइक रिसर्चर्स लाइक सोशल साइंटिस्ट while dealing with the Facebook. It's not a very small thing. And, and all social media, you need to be more careful, check, recheck, and reevaluate, and do it evidence-based, and things turn out to be better. Last but not the least, I think the issue of privacy, that's very, very important. We must uh, respect, as citizens of the Constitution, and the followers of the Constitution of Pakistan, har ek ki privacy hai, aur hamari privacy, kuch ek foot ke baad, kisi dusre ki privacy, domain shuru ho jata hai. To always respect that. These were just very brief deliberations that I wanted ki jis se thoda sa isko kick off kare. I really welcome and thank Facebook people and I also thank Mr. Dr. Arsalan Khalid in absentia. He is not here. He is from the PM office, the focal person on IT and social media ki unho ne bhi is mehfil ko sa jane mein muavnat sabit ki National Assembly of Pakistan ka. So I welcome you all once again at the session and uh, wish you a very absorbing session which will be a learning experience I believe for all of us. God bless you and a happy absorbing session. Pakistan Zindabad. The use of social media in politics including Facebook and Instagram has dramatically changed the way campaigns are run and how the citizens with their, how citizens are with their elected officials. I would now request Mr. Sarim Aziz who is head of public policy Pakistan and the country rep Facebook to give a quick introduction of how Facebook is used in Pakistan. Please, sir. Respected speaker, ministers, officials, assalamu alaikum. Thank you for having us today. It's really humbling to see the voice of Pakistan in this room. And I really, I think the people in this room are the ones that set the tone and, you know, are the voice of Pakistanis, not just in. It's human nature.
If social media is, a, is doing something that breaks community, then that is not acceptable to us. And as Facebook, we actually want to take responsibility over this mission. It's not just enough to say we're a platform and that, yes, people can do whatever they want. No, that's not the Facebook of today. Facebook has changed and learned from its mistakes over the last 10 years to understand that we have a responsibility to keep our community safe. And we have a responsibility to build a community that you know, can thrive. Um, and on that, mission, you know, really, I think fundamentally, there's not many, if you think about your communities, people that live in your communities, which platform gives them access to 2.4 billion people on the planet? Is there anything else out there? This is really the power of connection and, and bringing, it's not just about connecting the communities together, but bringing that community closer to the world and bringing Pakistan closer to the world. We, we don't want a Pakistan that's isolated. We want a Pakistan that's connected to the rest of the world and is able to solve problems that are global issues. How we connect, the world is changing. As you saw in that video, most of the people who are, and even in this room, you know, you know, are on their phones. You have, you know, you're not going to be sitting at a computer in your office all the time looking at documents. You're going to be doing this on the move. So the way you engage with your community, that's how they're receiving your information. So you have to think about, they have this limited real estate and limited uh, you know, window of opportunity to get their attention and to get the message out that you need to through Facebook. And, and just a, a view from the Prime Minister's office, you know, we had a really incredible discussion with him on the importance of social media. Uh, you know, he obviously realized, you know, he's big on transparency, uh, he's big on e-governance and, and making sure that, you know, officials are, are held accountable for, for their uh, constituents. So this is a vision that we share. We want an informed community. Um, but also, I think he, he mentioned that you know there's a lot more that needs to be done. You know, the the yes, tourism is an amazing opportunity in Pakistan, and if you look at it, and, and, and we all know those social media celebrities that you know go to these areas, these beautiful areas in Pakistan, are able to tell the story of what it's like to be here, uh, and and that is powerful. That's a powerful narrative that I think Pakistan needs more of. Switching to a bit on the economic side, it's about access as well. It's great to see many women in this room uh, that are members of parliament and coming from communities where they have other women who may not have the same opportunity. Uh, they might have barriers within society, they might have other you know, economic barriers that prevent them from accessing you know, being part of the economy, but digital can be an amazing equalizer. It can, be, it can democratize that power of uh, you know, being able to start a business yourself. And so we've launched this in partnership with the Ministry of IT last year um, to help women business led businesses and, you know, Seher's actively from our public policy team is actively partnered with the Lahore Chamber of Commerce to train women on digital so that their brick and mortar businesses can go online and be more successful so they can reach more customers, increase sales and help give women that platform to, to succeed online. Uh, I was just having a conversation um, with Mr. Raza just a few minutes ago on, on, you know, I hear this question all the time. When is Facebook opening an office in Pakistan? <laughs> and, and we were just having this discussion. Look, most companies, when they open an office in a country, it's usually a commercial decision, right? You need to be making money in that country to be able to, to, to you know, open operations and have a sales team. And, and largely these offices end up being sales offices. We look at Pakistan differently. Yes, of course, it's a business opportunity, but for us, it's an important opportunity to build community here. And I think we want to invest in Pakistan in ways that are more meaningful for the community. Uh, having a sales office with one salesperson that's selling you know, uh, Facebook ads is not basically uh, our, our only goal. Uh, our main goal is to help the startups in Pakistan as well, uh, the technology, the talent in Pakistan is amazing. We're just having a discussion, you know, the cost of and the talent that you get in, in terms of building technology in Pakistan is great. And so we want to help develop that community further. So we built this innovation lab uh, recently in Lahore. And you'll hear more from this. We're, we've hired a full-time resource to help companies that are being incubated in, this, in Lahore uh, at the National Incubation Center 
around Pakistan, and I think there's an NIC now in every, almost every city um, in, in the major provinces. So, you know, Peshawar has one, Karachi has one. So we want to work with the local talent to help develop technologies like augmented reality, virtual reality, artificial intelligence. So these are some of the focus areas of this partnership, and you'll hear a lot more from this uh, in the next uh, uh, a few months to, to in, in weeks. And there's also social issues, right? So things like health. Um, I want to highlight that Pakistan has been a pioneer in this. We realized that you know, people were creating groups on Facebook trying to find blood donors. And imagine you have a loved one in the hospital who needs blood. You, people were turning to Facebook to get help to, you know, to find replacement because the supply is practically, it doesn't meet the demand. There, we don't have that culture in Pakistan of going voluntarily and just donating blood. It's only when somebody needs it that we give it. So we need to change that culture. And I'm really happy to report that in, through partnership of the Ministry of Health and the Safe Blood Transfusion Program, we were able to launch this feature where now blood banks can use Facebook to uh, reach blood donors. And now they don't have to wait for an emergency. They can do this proactively so to keep and replenish the supplies. And this helps the community overall. Uh, and again, Pakistan was one of the first countries where we launched this, and there'll be, uh, we're continuing to train blood banks across Pakistan on, who are licensed. And this is safe for the community because you don't want unlicensed banks that are operating and um, in creating conditions that uh, would, you know, keep uh, your you know, would put uh, the health at stake of uh, people who are, uh, you know, in need of blood. And so I encourage you to register. As you can actually, anybody as a Facebook user can go in and. I encourage you to actually share this with your community. They can register as a donor. It's, it's completely free. And you get notified when a local bank needs uh, help. Some of the banks have said that 70% of their donations for blood come in through Facebook. This is really, so they're depending on this to get the word out. And our favorite topic, fake news, and you know, again, the executive director mentioned this. We have a responsibility to disrupt this. While I have to admit this is not something that Facebook has created, fake news has been there all the time. Uh, it was there when tabloids existed. It was there when TV existed. It's still there on, on many mediums. But I think social media is a unique, has a unique opportunity and Facebook has a unique opportunity to disrupt fake news because this is the only medium where you can challenge fake news. Everywhere else it's a one-way conversation, right? Uh, if it's a print or it's a, a TV, you believe what you see. And in fact, I think the only difference social media has made is expose the fact that people believe what they read and believe what they see. So now, we are actually want to disrupt that and actually help inform uh, people by A, we want to reduce fake news. We don't think removing fake news is actually the answer. I think the opportunity is to inform and to say this is wrong. And you know, if you believe that the polio vaccine is gonna kill your child, that's not true. We want to give you right information about the polio vaccine. Because otherwise, if you just remove the information, they continue believing that it does. Um, and so we actually have this partnership to, in Pakistan with uh, the AFP, and we've encouraged many media organizations to join. There's an international fact-checking network where any media organization and journalists can join this. And so now, if you see a post on Facebook that's actually fake, A, you can report it. You can say this is fake news. What that does is it cues this piece of uh, news or video or image, it can be anything, and then the fact checkers can fact check this. So if next time if somebody comes across this news article, they see a list of related articles that actually show you what's the right information. So this is how you disrupt fake news. So I think just to summarize, we have a lot, we say, you know, we have a saying at Facebook, the job is 1% done. And I think in the case of Fox, and I'd say it's probably less than 0.1% done. We have a lot to do. Um, and we're, this is just the beginning. We have, uh, you know, we're investing in teams, in products, and in, in tools and services to serve our community in Pakistan. We need your help to create an informed community. I'm glad that many of you are already on Facebook and actively in involved. Um, but really, you know, look to you to be the voice in your communities to send a positive message of how social media can and should be used. And with that, uh, you know, look forward to you having a productive and useful session. Thank you. پر برادریوں سے منسلک ہونا کہ موضوع پر فیس بک کی جانب سے پیپس اور ڈیجیٹل سے متعلق وزیراعظم کے فوکل پرسن ارسلان خالد کے تعاون سے منقدہ ورکشاپ میں خوش آمدید کہتا ہوں میں موزز سپیکر جناب اسد کیسر فیس بک کی ٹیم ایکزیکٹیو ڈائریکٹر 
پپس کا شکر گزار ہوں کہ انہوں نے اس ورک شاپ کے تمام کے لیے پہلا قدم اٹھایا میں جناب رائٹ ان اور جناب سارم عزیز اور محترمہ سہر جو اس ورک شاپ میں شرکت کے لیے سنگاپور سے تشریف لائے ان کا خصوصی طور پر خیر مقدم کرتا ہوں اور مشکور ہوں مجھے وزیر اعظم عمران خان کے ویژن پر بات کرتے ہوئے حقیقت میں انتہائی مسرت ہو رہی ہے کہ ہمیں ای گورننس کے ذریعے گڈ گورننس کرنی چاہیے شہریوں کے مسائل حل کرنا چاہیے اور پاکستان کی پارلیمنٹ اور خصوصاً ارکان پارلیمنٹ کے مثبت تخصص کو اجاگر کرنے کے لیے سوشل میڈیا کا استعمال کرنا چاہیے مجھے ابھی جو پاکستان کے اندر جب فیس بک یوز کر رہے ہیں وہ تقریباً کوئی چار کروڑ چار کروڑ دس لاکھ لوگ ہیں جو فیس بک یوز کر رہے ہیں اور تقریباً کوئی سولہ کروڑ لوگ موبائل یوز کرتے ہیں اور سات لاکھ سات کروڑ پچاس لاکھ تقریباً لوگ سوشل میڈیا یوز کر رہے ہیں موبائل کے ذریعے اور دوسرا تو میں سمجھتا ہوں کہ فیس بک جب آئی پاکستان کے اندر بھی اور ہم نے اسی سوشل میڈیا کے ذریعے اپنی سیاسی کمپین بھی کی لوگوں میں آگاہی پھیلائی اور یہ جو اتنا بڑا ایک چینج آیا میرے جیسا ایک عام آدمی آج اگر یہ ڈپٹی اسپیکر کی کرسی پہ بیٹھا ہے تو میں سمجھتا ہوں اس میں بہت بڑا ایک جو لوگوں میں آگاہی آئی وہ سوشل میڈیا کے ذریعے آئی اور جو تیزی سے پھیلا دو ہزار چودہ اور پندرہ میں جب تھری جی فور جی آیا پاکستان میں لوگوں نے اسمارٹ فون یوز کرنا شروع کیے اور اسی کے ذریعے جو آپ کے دس کروڑ دس لاکھ لوگ جو فیس بک یوز کر رہے ہیں انسٹاگرام یوز کر رہے ہیں واٹس ایپ یوز کر رہے ہیں دوسرے اور آپ کے جو سوشل پلیٹ فارمز ہیں اس کو استعمال کرتے ہیں تو میں سمجھتا ہوں کہ پاکستان میں ایک زمانے میں ڈیجیٹل ٹی وی کا جو الیکٹرک میڈیا تھا اس کے ذریعے لوگوں کو آگاہی ہوتی تھی اور لوگ بہت متوجہ ہوتے تھے اینکرز کی طرف اور پروگرامز دیکھا کرتے تھے لیکن جب سے یہ سوشل میڈیا آیا تو آپ یقین کریں کہ لوگوں کو ایک آواز ملی اس سے پہلے پاکستان کے اندر بلکہ دنیا میں جو نیوز پیپر لکھے جاتے تھے جو اداریے لکھے جاتے تھے اس سے لوگ جو ہے وہ اپنا مائنڈ سیٹ دیکھتے تھے ان کو پڑھتے تھے انسپائر ہوتے تھے اور وہ جو ہے سیاست کا رخ اور چیزوں کا رخ بتاتے تھے لیکن جب سوشل میڈیا آیا تو جس طرح میں نے آپ کو بتایا تقریباً ساڑھے سات کروڑ لوگ اس ٹائم استعمال کر رہے ہیں پاکستان میں بائیس کروڑ کی آبادی میں تو ایک بہت بڑی آبادی کا حصہ وہ منسلک ہو گیا آپس میں انٹر لنک ہو گیا ہے اور ان کو ایک آواز ملی ہے وہ اپنا اظہار خیال کر سکتے ہیں اب سوشل میڈیا پہ اور بہت سے ایسے مسائل جو ہمارے ٹی وی پہ نہیں اٹھائے گئے حکومتوں کو نہیں پتہ چلا وہ اس کمیونٹی کے ذریعے سوشل میڈیا کے ذریعے ایکٹیوسٹ نے آواز اٹھائی اور آخر کار حکومت کو بھی اس کو سننا پڑا اور بہت سی ایسی چیزیں ہیں جو مسائل طلب تھیں وہ اس میڈیم کے ذریعے اٹھائے گئے اور لوگوں نے متوجہ ہوئے اور کمیونٹی اٹھی اس کے لیے اور وہ پریشر بنا حکومت پہ بھی اور اس کو حل کرنے کے لیے متوجہ ہوئی حکومت تو میں سمجھتا ہوں کہ پاکستان کی جو تیزی سے عوام کے اندر جو ایک بہت شعور آیا اس کے اندر سوشل میڈیا کا بہت بڑا کردار ہے اور اس کے ساتھ ساتھ آج کل جو سب سے بڑا میں مسئلہ ہے اس خطے کے اندر وہ کشمیر کا مسئلہ ہے اسی کروڑ عوام جو اس ٹائم محصور ہیں کرفیو کے اندر اور وہاں پر جو سب سے بڑی بدقسمتی ہے کہ وہاں پہ جو بلیک آؤٹ ہوا ہوا ہے وہاں پہ جو پرنٹ میڈیا الیکٹرک میڈیا سوشل میڈیا وہاں پر کوئی وہاں پہ استعمال نہیں کر سکتا اور دنیا کو کچھ پتہ نہیں چل رہا کہ وہاں پہ کیا ہو رہا ہے تو میں سمجھتا ہوں کہ اس طرح جہاں پر یہ صورت حال ہو کہ آپ سوشل میڈیا بھی استعمال نہیں کر سکتے آپ الیکٹرک میڈیا نہیں ہے کچھ پتہ نہیں ہے وہاں پہ کیا ہو رہا ہے تو یہ ایک بہت بڑا المی ہے ہمارے اس خطے میں اور بہت سے اس طرح کے جو جس طرح فیس بک نے تو ایک دو شاید میں نے سنا ہماری ایک پارلیمنٹیرین بھی ہیں کہ ان کا پیج بلاک کیا لیکن جس طرح ٹیوٹر پہ اس آواز کو دبایا گیا کشمیر کی آواز کو خصوصاً اور ایک خاص ملک کا لابی اس پہ چھائی رہی میں سمجھتا ہوں کہ فیس بک اور انسٹاگرام کو 
जिनके आज हमारे पास यहाँ पे ऑफिशल्स आए हुए हैं आपको आ, मैं कहना चाहता हूँ कि आज़ादी राय का आज़ादी राय का एहतराम होना चाहिए और आपको खसूस इसलिए कि पाकिस्तान में भी तकरीबन चार करोड़ दस लाख लोग आपका फेसबुक यूज़ कर रहे हैं और ये तेज़ी से फैलने वाला नेटवर्क है पाकिस्तान के अंदर तो आपको इसका ख्याल रखना चाहिए और उन मजलूमों की भी आवाज़ बननी चाहिए जो आप देख रहे हैं कि दुनिया में इतना बड़ा एक अलमिया हुआ हुआ है इसके साथ साथ फेसबुक के ज़रिए बहुत सी इस तरह की चीज़ें सोशल मीडिया के ज़रिए हम देख रहे हैं जो लोगों तक कनेक्टिविटी भी हो रही है ख़बरें पहुँचती हैं लोग जो है वो बिजनेस कर रहे हैं जिस तरह आपने भी इसके अंदर दिखाया कि खातन के लिए बहुत ज़बरदस्त मौका है सोसाइटी में एक दूसरे की मदद करने के लिए ये प्लेटफॉर्म इस्तेमाल हो रहे हैं जिस तरह आपने कहा अभी कि किसी को भी खून की ज़रूरत हो मरीज़ को तो ये बहुत ही अच्छी चीज़ है आपने इसके अंदर किया पाकिस्तान की हुकूमत भी चाहती है कि वो ई गवर्नेंस की तरफ जाए डिजिटल पे आए और लोगों को ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा सहूलतें फ्राहम कर सके इसके साथ साथ आ, हम चाहते हैं कि पाकिस्तान के अंदर जो सियात है पाकिस्तान एक बहुत खूबसूरत मुल्क है आ, साहल की पट्टी है हमारे पास हर किस्म का मौसम है पहाड़ हैं दुनिया के बुलंद तरीन पहाड़ हैं और सियात के हवाले से बहुत खूबसूरत है तो उस हवाले से भी वज़र अजम साहब से भी आपकी आ, सर्दियों में मुलाकात हुई थी उसमें भी उन्होंने इस तरफ आपको तोज्जा दिलाने का कहा और इसमें मलेशिया और सिंगापुर की जो हुकूमतें हैं वो पहले से आपका ये मीडियम यूज़ करके फेसबुक का वो सेहत के फ़रोख्त के लिए अपने मुल्कों में काम कर रही हैं तो हम भी चाहते हैं कि हम आ, इस पे काम करें और आ, आपने आखिर में जो तस्वीर दिखाई उस पर मुझे थोड़ा सा अफसोस हुआ उसमें आपने इस्लामाबाद की तस्वीर दिखाई उसमें आपने कराची की तस्वीर दिखाई उसमें आपने लाहौर की तस्वीर दिखाई उसमें आपने पेशावर की मेरा जिस सूबे से ताल्लुक है बलोचिस्तान तकरीबन 44 फ़ीसद रकबे के हिसाब से है आज अगर हम एक देखते हैं कि इस मुल्क को इकतसादी तौर पर हम उठाएँगे तो उसमें हम सी की तरफ जाते हैं उसमें हम गवादर को देखते हैं तो गवादर जो है वो बलोचिस्तान में है पाकिस्तान का इकतसादी दरवाज़ा बनने जा रहा है ग्वादर और यहाँ पे बलूचिस्तान की कोई तस्वीर नहीं है तो मेरी आपसे ये रिक्वेस्ट होगी कि आप अपना यहाँ पे जो ऑपरेशन शुरू कर रहे हैं उसके अंदर आपने चारों सूबों को आपने एक जैसा देखना है आपने ठीक है मार्केटिंग आप देखोगे लेकिन आप ये इस तरह नहीं करें कि कोई यहाँ पर आ रहा है हुकूमती हम यहाँ पर आपके सामने खड़े हैं और एक जगह पर एक पूरा सूबा जिसका रकबा चवालीस फीसद है उसको आप दिखा ही नहीं रहे तो इस लाइट को आपने एज सुन एज पॉसिबल इसको सही करना है और अपने इस ऑपरेशन में बलूचिस्तान को लाजमी आपने दिखाना है तो इस उम्मीद के साथ कि फेसबुक जो है वो और जिद्दत लेके आएगी और लोगों को आपस में मिलाने में बेहतरीन किरदार अदा करेगी आपस में लोगों के जो माशरती इकतदार हैं उनको दिखाने में एक दूसरे में आपने देखा कि हमारे प्यारे नबी सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम के ख़िलाफ़ खाके बने इस तरह की चीज़ों को रोकने में मैं समझता हूं कि इस मीडियम को स्टेप्स उठाने चाहिए और लोगों की जो दिल आज़ारी होती है उसका खसूस तौर पे आपको ख्याल रखना चाहिए अभी बताया गया कि जो फेक न्यूज़ होती हैं जिस तरह अभी कल परसों ही चल रही थी एक न्यूज़ तो इसको इसकी रोकथाम के लिए भी और इल्जाम लगाते हैं लोगों पे तस्वीरें इस तरह की बनाते हैं जिससे लोगों को अजियत होती है तो मैं समझता हूँ इस सिलसिले में भी आपको ऐसी कानून साजी करनी चाहिए कि लोगों के अंदर ये एहसास नहीं आए कि ये मीडियम जो है वो किसी की मर्द मजारी के लिए भी इस्तेमाल हो रहा है किसी की को बदनाम करने के लिए इस्तेमाल हो रहा है तो ये इस तरह की चीज़ें जो है वो मैं समझता हूँ वक्त के साथ साथ नज़र आ रही हैं हम सबको और इसका इस पे ये सोचना चाहिए कम्युनिटी को जो इतनी बड़ी कम्युनिटी है जो तकरीबन दो अरब से ज़्यादा लोगों को जिसने मुंसलिक किया आपस में कि उसको ऐसे स्टेप्स उठाने चाहिए जो इन चीज़ों पे ख़ास तौर पे नज़र रखे कि किसी के मज़हब के हवाले से जो अकीदत है उसको उसको ठेस ना पहुँचाएँ आप जो है वो किसी की इस तरह की फेक न्यूज़ से बहुत सा लोग लोगों को नुकसान होता है इदारों को नुकसान होता है 
خصوصا جو ہے وہ بزنس کے حوالے سے بھی ہر حوالے سے تو اس حوالے سے بھی اقدامات اٹھانے کی ضرورت ہے یہ ایک ایسا میڈیا میں جو تیزی سے پھیل رہا ہے اور اس کے اندر ابتدا آپ جو ہے اس طرح کی فلٹرز ہونے چاہیے جو کہ ایک بہترین معاشرہ دنیا کو گلوبل کرنے کے لیے ملانے کے لیے جو ایک میڈیم یوز ہو رہا ہے اس میں ان چیزوں کا اقدار ہونا چاہیے ان چیزوں پہ آپ کو بہت زیادہ جو ہے وہ سوچنے کی ضرورت ہے اور اس امید کے ساتھ کہ انشاءاللہ جو تجاویز میں نے تھوڑی سی دی ہیں جس میں بلوچستان شامل ہے اس پہ آپ خصوصی توجہ دیں گے تمام پارلیمان کے لوگوں کا پپس کے ڈائریکٹر انتظامیہ کا تمام لوگوں کا بہت بہت شکریہ Thank you so much, sir, for your kind words. Indeed, social media is a great way to raise your voice against you. Um, I am here to talk to you today about some of the things your speakers have actually done. What are some of the protocols that we have in place? Just to tell you, Facebook is open to content. اس کو ہم ریڈیوے آن مانیٹر کرتے ہیں کیا چیز آپ فیس بوک کی اوپر کہہ سکتے ہیں کیا چیز نہیں کہہ سکتے ہیں اور مجھے بتا ہے اسے حوالے سے بہت سارے سوال ہیں جیسے سیکر صاحب نے کہا سپیشلی کشنی کے حوالے سے تو we will also answer all of those questions but پہلے میں کہا کہ to walk you through what those rules are تاکہ you are able to know کہ when you are using فیس بوک as a political tool when you are using فیس بوک to connect to constituents and communities What should you and you should not do? Facebook has three basic principles. The three basic principles of Facebook are that we want to make our platform, our users, safe. We all users are 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 safe. For us, all our 2.4 billion users are absolutely the same and their safety matters to us. So we want that Facebook to offer Joby content that you can see the safety to have also to offer us a number. Dusra, we want all of our 2.4 billion people to have a voice. Abad, Uthani ki, Azadi, Ho. And again, what about the first part? Come down. Come down. Why would this come down? So you are comparing these two black people to chimpanzees. This is case studies uh, from across the region and some of the trends that we're seeing only in Pakistan but around the region. So just a bit about me. So our team does a lot of engagement with both governments and politicians, uh, election related work during campaign season as well. So uh, my pleasure of these engaging uh, in different regions. And thank you uh, if you have any questions at the end. So, our mission, the, and one of the key things about our mission, one of the key pillars of our mission is civic engagement. All right, it's about the same number, 100%, every single day while on my mobile phone. What this means is that a mobile phone is really the device that everyone's using Facebook for. Right? How can you use slideshows, videos, different clips to make it more appealing and more engaged has access to Messenger, right, where people may be messaging you about the issues that they're seeing on the ground.